Warren, moving away from the Irish League, I, I just want to talk to you because uh, the, the Champions League is now massive competition with you. Think about it, possibly the most important competition uh, in world football when it comes to clubs, clearly. Uh, who do you fancy this year for it? I'm going for Real Madrid again. Um, you know, I say about the pressures of managing Liverpool, and I say this to the players, but imagine the pressures of managing Real Madrid because you've got the best players and... You know, there's a difference for me between good players and the better players, but the better players do it week in, week out. And, you know, I think they're incredible. They've got everything, and I fancy them strongly for the for the Champions League. But you're fancying them too because you've got a connection there. You have a personal <laughs> connection. Come on, let us know about that. No, I was fortunate enough on the pro license to meet Ancelotti, Fernando Hierro, and Paul Clement, who are the three coaches we'll manage and. and Fernando Hierro, that's funny because I've got a shirt from when I played for Northern Ireland against them on the wall. Um, but with the luxury of sitting, um, going through what way they play, how they manage their players, and it was great on the inside end of it. Went to watch them train and then watched them obviously in the Super Cup final, but it was just incredible sitting there listening to a guy who's, you know, won Champions Leagues, played in World Cups, won the Liga titles. Um, and obviously Italian Cups, Italian um, titles and listening to how he goes about day-to-day -day managing Real Madrid and what way systems they want when they have the ball and what systems they want when they lose the ball. And listen, yes, they're all good players, you know that, but I think they've got that little bit of a mentality now where they can roll their sleeves up as well, um, Real Madrid. And I think that's, that's why they're the dominant force in the world. The thing that uh, struck you about it was the fact that uh, they were so open about it. There's none of this bit about hiding behind anything. They just brought you in, told you everything about what you know, what way they played, everything about themselves. No, a very open approach, wasn't it? It was. It was a question. It was about ten of us there because it was actually we, we got in. Um, we we're meant to meet up on the Tuesday, but said if anyone can fly over earlier on the Monday, you've got a chance to meet them. And listen, I'd book my flight straight away. Mm -hmm. um, but they were very open. They sat us down, showed us what way that they approached the uh, European Cup final. Where their players go, where what way they want them. You could ask them questions. That all the arrows showing if the right wingers got it where they want the the third other midfielder to go and sit and listen to it. You know what I mean? It's something that you'd love to sit down with your own players, but you can see why they're the world's class players. Because I say this, and it's no disrespect to even full time players in England. It's hard for players, I think, to retain information. Um, but you know, the the Emmons have you know got it right down to the, the technical points and that's why they're the best players in the world. Well Real Madrid are your tip, who else would you fancy in there? Like, you know, who, who, who can shake them? Like, you know, Barcelona seem to be on their way back, Messi's beginning to play a great football again, you know, it's going to be tight the top of La Liga. Yeah. Is it between them and Bayern Munich? You know, the English sides are almost uh, also ranch you could say in the Champions League uh, at this stage. I think, I think to be honest, I think Man City's got a chance, you can't rule out Chelsea. Chelsea will go because they've got, I'd say they're very, very disciplined. And I can fancy um, Juventus, and it's funny seeing Borussia Dortmund there because I think they're rock bottom of the, the Bundesliga, and um, they're in the Champions League, and and it's funny, you know, I'm sure that if you're asking their manager now, they'd want safe in the Bundesliga and maybe scrap the the um, Champions League for for a year. But I think you can't rule out your Chelsea. I think you've got your Man City, but I fancy Juventus to do do a wee bit. I'm being honest because it's a compact ground they've got. There's some very good players, um, and you know it's probably been. A long time since they've been into the last, last four of the the Champions League. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they've got a shout. Interesting. Now you say you fancy Man City. Of course they play Barcelona in the last sixteen. Are you saying to the punters here now that Man City is the team to beat Barcelona? I think they can. You know, yes, Barcelona are fantastic, great players, world world beaters. But I think at the minute they've maybe lost that little bit of what they had a couple of couple of years ago when you know they were untouchable. Um, Man City, yes. People can say in Europe maybe they struggle a little bit, but it's a one-off game, um, home and away, and I think you know I think they have a big chance.